Hello there! In this video, I will show you how I made this awesome robot which helps you practice table tennis and you can control it totally from your phone. So, first of all, let's start it with the design. First is the loading mechanism which loads the balls and control it straight. And second part is the shooting mechanism which directs the ball all over the table and control it speed and spin. And the last part will be the box which includes all the needed electronics. The first idea I came up with was to make a lift or elevator which to make I used some PVC bias, GT2 taming build and poly. Although the mechanism was working fine, I replaced it with this one because I felt it would give me more reliability. And by the way, all details of this project, designs, foods, and parts are in the link below. So don't forget to check it. And for the mechanism which threw the ball, simply it consists of two pulleys attached to two motors. When the ball moves inside them, they will push it forward. In the first attempt, I used two DC motors and I made the body of the mechanism using a 6mm plywood and fabricated using laser cutting. First I thought it works fine, but I found out that even with the same motor speed, the ball made a different distance each time, so I couldn't rely on this mechanism. So it's time for redesign. And the modification I did, I replaced the DC motor with two brushless motors to increase the power and the controllability. I 3D printed the motor fixation. I also used a smaller pipe to make sure that the ball will hit the motor pulleys in the same spot every time and I made the position of the motor adjustable for more flexibility. And simply I use the servo motor to direct the shooting mechanism. So now it's time for electronics. I used a 12 volt 10 ampere power supply, Arduino Uno to control all the motors, a Bluetooth module to communicate with the robot and adjust its configuration, two ECC to control the brushless motor, a motor driver to control the stepper, and 5 volt power supply to supply the servo motor. And as I mentioned before, you can find the code in the link below. After that, I paint all the parts.
then it's calibration time and is this phase simply I select the process motor speed and servo angle to hit different table areas and if you reach this part of the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe for more projects and leave us a comment below and for the control and the configuration I decided to use a mobile application for that and all I need is a button to connect to the robot slider to control the spin level another slider to control the ball rate buttons to select the slider of the table and start stop buttons and thanks to my lovely wife this sketch turned into a real application and at this point robot was ready to test